So if you are planning to move uh, into Canada, you must realize that uh, Canada gets very cold uh, during winter. We have uh, different season here. We have winter which begins, officially begins from um, uh, December and it will go all the way to February. Then we have spring which begins from March and will go all the way to June. Then from June 21st, we have summer, which begins, uh, uh, of, of course, from June and runs all the way to September. From September 21st all the way to December, we call that season fall. So there's uh, several ways to prepare when you are planning your trip to Canada during winter. Uh, I always advise people don't visit Canada during winter unless you want to visit uh, your family members for Christmas huh? uh, because uh, it's the whole country is full of snow uh, except some uh, several parts like here in uh, British Columbia we normally don't experience much snow will just have snow for like a week or two and then it will dry up but we experience a lot of rain a lot of rain in fact we have nicknamed vancouver as rain cover because of the rain there are so many people who have moved out of this province and went to different other provinces because of the rain they couldn't handle the rain uh, it rains here it can rain here one month non-stop 24 hours a day, non-stop for one month. During winter, we experience lots of rain. But uh, in any way, in any case, uh, there are some few things that you need to do to prepare for winter. So for you to prepare for winter, you need uh, uh, to have good socks. Uh, you need to have uh, those. You remember those socks we normally buy at uh, Kikomba? Uh, Gikomba. Uh, those socks actually, they are, they, they are never meant for, you know, um, uh, the Kenyan weather. Uh, maybe f save for places like Limuru and uh, Abadea, uh, Flyover, but basically those are the socks that you need, and you'll also need uh, you'll also need what we call waterproof boots. Waterproof boots. Waterproof boots are boots that look like gum boots, but um, they are not gum boots. They're just official shoes. Uh, these are the kind of shoes that when you step uh, when you step on snow with them. Uh, then the water will not get into your feet. Eh? Uh, they're very, very well, uh, very well woven, and uh, they are also insulated so that on the inside you will be able to keep your uh, your feet warm. It's very, very important to have these boots. Then uh, you have, you you also need to have like a skin tight. Uh, many people when they move here they don't understand that. So you'll, you'll get somebody just putting on a jeans and it, they don't have anything on the inside and they end up freezing because many times if it's your first time to be moving, to move here, uh, you'll not be driving immediately. So you need that skin tight. You need very long socks that will reach the knee and uh, on top of that you need a skin tight. And then you need a vest that uh, is a long sleeved vest which which should also be a tight it should also be a fitting vest that that really squeezed your body uh, just like uh, you've seen the people uh, who swim eh? those kind of uh, uh, those kind of swimming costumes they put on eh? so you need something that is tight that will uh, will will help you to keep um, uh, the warmth of your body from escaping uh, then you need uh, those big 
uh, t-shirts, checked t-shirts. I'm sure you, if you're coming from Kenya, Tanzania, or Uganda, you have seen the second-hand clothes. They normally say the checked clothes they normally sell. So make sure you get one. Make sure you have one that has got a hoodie on, uh, uh, so that you can cover your head. Uh, you'll need what we call uh, a, a, a big jacket and uh, you need also gloves. Very, very important to have gloves. I would recommend leather gloves uh, because when you have woven, just like uh, you've seen the people uh, who swim, eh? those, kind of, uh, uh, those kind of swimming costumes they put on. Eh? So you need something that is tight. That will, uh, will, will help you to keep um, uh, the warmth of your body from escaping. Uh, then you need uh, those big uh, t-shirts, checked t-shirts. I'm sure you, if you're coming from Kenya, Tanzania or Uganda, you have seen the second-hand clothes. They normally say the checked clothes they normally sell. So make sure you get one. Make sure you have one that has got a hoodie on, uh, uh, so that you can cover your head. Uh, you'll need what we call uh, a, a, a big jacket. jacket and uh, you need also gloves very very important to have gloves i would recommend leather gloves uh, because when you have woven uh, kind of gloves sometimes when you touch the snow uh, then within minutes those gloves will begin to be you know they'll get wet and you'll feel very cold in your hands eh? then as for your car uh, make sure that you have winter tires winter tires are very different from the tires we are used to in kenya uh, these are tires that have been uh, purposely made for to handle the snow uh, and you know sometimes we have what we call black ice eh? when the snow uh, begins to melt a little bit then if it rains that snow turns into ice so you'll not be able to see it with your eyes you'll just think that the roads are okay but that's where cars begin to skid and it's very very dangerous most accidents in uh, uh, during winter they happen because of the because of the black black ice eh? and then the other thing is that you have to follow the weather you have to listen to to the news because information is shared here every now and then information is updated new data is coming in so make sure you have like an, uh, an uh, a weather app that you can follow and see uh, what will be happening like if i check my weather app right now i know that this week the whole of this week there'll be snow and i know that it's gonna get cold right now even as i'm uh, as i'm talking like this it's a uh, negative 25 outside it's negative 25 so make sure you keep warm and uh, if if you keep warm everything is gonna be all right it's just some two months of cold and then after that you get to enjoy uh, the rest of the month you get to enjoy 10 months so always be prepared if you, if you, if you fail to plan you're planning to fail This is a very good one. 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 This is